One of the best features of Zotero is the ability to import references directly from your internet browser by using the Zotero Connector Browser plugin. I am going to show you in this video how you can use the Zotero Connector to bring in references. Zotero Connector is a plugin that works best with Mozilla Firefox and Google Chrome. It does not work on Internet Explorer or Microsoft Edge, so please do not use them. When you are using the Zotero Connector, you will need to keep Zotero Standalone open. There are some caveats when using Zotero Connector. While it is very powerful and it works on most websites and databases, it may also not work on some websites or databases. If that happens, you will need to use the other methods to bring your references in. Zotero Connector also has the ability to bring in the full text PDF of the reference. But do note that it does not always work because of how the database is designed. Finally, do note that the quality of the citation information varies with the source. So please do check your references when you bring them in. Installing the Zotero Connector is very simple. First, open up Zotero. Next, Click on Tools and select Install Browser Connector. You'll be brought to a web page where you can install Zotero Connector. Follow the instructions for your browser and you should have no issues installing the connector. You know you have installed the Zotero Connector properly if you can see this icon on your browser. Now that you have installed Zotero Connector, I am going to show you how to use it. For the purpose of this video, I am going to use the connector on three sites. The first is a new site, BBC. The second is a database, Science Direct. And the third is Google Scholar. To use Zotero connector, first open up the internet browser that you installed the connector on. For me, I am going to use Firefox since I installed the connector on it. Head to the website. In this case, it will be the BBC. Let's say you want to cite this article on the UK log now. Click on the link to load the article. Click on the Zotero Connector plugin. You will notice that it has turned into a newspaper, which indicates that Zotero Connector knows this is a news article and will cite it accordingly. Once you click on it, a pop-up will appear and your reference will be added into your Zotero library. Take a look at your Zotero library, and you should find the reference. Next, I am going to show you how Zotero Connector works on a database. The database I'm going to use is ScienceDirect. So head to the article, and once you're there, click on the Zotero Connector. You will notice that the icon has changed to an article-like shape image. Click on the connector, and a pop-up will appear. You can see that the Zotero connector is actually trying to download the PDF. Head back to Zotero and you should see the article and the PDF. Do note that while Zotero connector can bring in the PDF, it does not always work because of the restrictions put in place by the database providers. Finally, I'm going to show you how you can use Zotero connector in Google Scholar. First, Head to Google Scholar. I am just going to do a simple search. Once you have done your search, click on the Zotero Connector icon. You will notice that the icon has changed to a file. When you click on it, a pop-up will show up and a list of references will appear. They correspond to the result list in Google Scholar. Select the references you want and click on OK. The references will be added into Zotero. As always, please check the references to ensure that the citation information is accurate. Hopefully, by the end of this video, you will know how to use the Zotero connector to import references into Zotero while using your internet browser. Like always, 
If you have any questions to ask us about using Zotero, please email us at askalip at nus.edu.sg. If not, have fun using the Zotero connector in your research.